you. If you click in this video, then it might be accidentally. Because here is nothing exciting to see. It's most boring stuff you can imagine. Even myself, after edit the videos, can't watch my own sh**. Still, if you are here, then you are just like me, who likes boats. And you want to do some improvements to your boat and want to learn something, maybe from me. Well, that's not the best idea. Well, anyway, congratulate you if you can watch this video to the end. Then you are officially along with the weirdo list. Reality, I'm tired as fuck. This is me and I'm doing that for myself. Well, once this is said, I will go back to my boat work. And, by the way, this is episode 50. 50 videos. Damn! And I almost have a thousand subscribers. Which is great, I guess. I can't really understand. Not the YouTube or anything else. How it works. So I will do it for myself. F*** this. So today is Friday. And if you remember, I mentioned the Fridays are taking off. I already mixed the fairing compound and I placed one layer more around. Now, hopefully it will be dry later on and I can sand and start kind of like see where, how far I have to go with it. Hatch is over here, the ones who don't know. This is my hatch project in the front. The last year I already did the smaller hatch, but this is big, 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 big hatch. It's 62 by 62. So it's a big ass hatch. And there is something else that I did. I removed the chain plate that was located here because I start with this one because I need a little help. And I got my help, so my friend came over, so we did remove the second chain plate. Now the second chain plate I have over here. And uh, you can pretty much see how it looks, uh, like all the rest of the chain plates. However, I mean, I'm going to bring these two to the guy who's gonna build a new ones. Oh yeah, I can't forget about the numbers, so I have to place some numbers on on each of them, because every, every one is different a bit. And you know what? Now I'm thinking, what can I do? Mm. Because my hatch kind of on hold because it's kind of drying right now in the fairing compound and uh, and I don't want to take all the chain plates off because you already know the reason. So the engine room is kind of the one thing that I can do, work a little bit around the hatch and stuff. And then I have the water tanks, that's a thing that I want to do. But then I have to kind of take off the whole floor and working here and it's kind of, I uh, yeah. So it's kind of messy. I'll think about it. The sanding, I really don't enjoy to do that. However, uh, that's part of the um, procedure that you have to do. We both were doing a great job, I believe, right? Yes. So my son today came over and he helped me to sand my hatch that I, um, where I placed yesterday the fairing compound. It takes a lot of energy to sand and it's not my favorite thing to do ever. <laughs> All right, and uh, now I have something on my plan. And I will show you shortly what exactly it is. So since the hatch work for me is quite on hold because I place another fairing compound layer. So I decided to work with my hat water hatch project because the last winter I installed my water hatches which was leaking. All of them was leaking when I feel the water inside. So now I've removed the first one. I have, I believe if I remember correctly, seven of them. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's uh, quite a huge job. So I have to remove all the epoxy that I did last time and, uh, and remove all the, all the way to the glass fiber. Pretty much my idea is to place, uh, close it with the glass fiber and then uh, make some few 
new floors using my new hatch, which are supposed to be a waterproof. And my best buddy is helping me out. He did a great job while I was placing the fairing compound. My, my son was helping me out with uh, cleaning up all the way to the glass fiber. It was hard, right? Yes. It was, yeah. It's not hard for me, it's fun for me, but it is a time-suiting job, and especially those hatches. Yes, I was looking forward to change them to the proper one. And uh, I, I thought these will be the proper one. These hatches are supposed to keep the water from getting in, but not from getting out. So, well, I didn't know that. It was so much time I used to, to make a holes and, and install these and now I have to do that again. Yeah, that, so I'm not looking forward kind of for that, but I'm looking forward to do this job and, and properly. So now the surface is prepared pretty much. And my idea is to place something in but see, the problem is that I'm not going to be able to get from underneath later on. Yeah, I have to kind of be finished with the underneath before I do anything else. That's kind of mission impossible. But I figure out how I'm going to do that. I cut two glass fiber sheets around about. And as I found out, this is exactly the size that I need. So I just use this as a template and then glass fiber two pieces for 450 and then I let this one to cure and tomorrow I can uh, remove it because those two mat materials are not going together nothing pretty much sticks to this one then I will flip it over do the gel cut and everything and this piece gonna go into the hole right here so it's gonna be a gel cut already placed in the other side and then I need to secure it so it's not falling in and then do the whole the rest of the glass fiber and then uh, perhaps I'm gonna make a new hatch right somewhere here uh, which will be a bit smaller dimension and when I'm gonna do the hatch opening I will be able to access below and paint a little bit around here if I need. So that's pretty much my plan. So we have a mission right now. The next step that I want to do, I want to remove these two. two. These two. Yes. Yeah, and you already start to do that, but you can't really figure out how to remove this, right? I think it uh, has to be some screws in the other side. And if there is no screws, then it's most likely glued there. And uh, perhaps this plastic comes off and then you can find some screws underneath. So good that we're not going to save it. As we found out, it's glued. Good job. Yes. Okay, this the autopilot is off as well, so which means that we have uh, two big holes right now. If you remember, I mentioned that I'm going to place two devices here. The one will be speed, temperature, and depth, and the other one will be yeah the wind instrument. This hole is way much too big, and this hole is way much too big for the new wind instruments. Which pretty much means, do you know what it means? We must build a new. A new, yeah, that's right. That's exactly what I'm thinking about. This is kind of like old already. And it wasn't my plan actually to, to keep it for long. I wanted to change and make a little bit more nice. So this is a good chance to do that. No, 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 not that way. We're gonna make it nicely. Uh, first, disconnect this wire. That's something still to do. Do that. Just plug it out. Just to try to get it out. Yes, right. That's good. So which means that this device that we install and this device that I install 
last year the bow thruster will gonna go away and the, the control panel for the engine will gonna go away my usb port will gonna go away and also the this cold uh, how you call it the switch this is cold start or yeah i guess the cold start that will be removed and placed probably will paint it white right yes. white is nice yes yeah i believe so you're gonna suit with everything else that we have here the boat is white but for now we remove this and we're gonna leave it for the moment there is something else to do do you yeah. know what no for the autopilot we have a control box that is located behind the seats and then we can save it perhaps we can sail it because it still have have some worth and maybe perhaps someone needed so we can sail it really cheap but there, this is old version so it is old but still it has some value and it's functional it's working so why should i throw away i'd rather give somebody so the controller is located right here down there so if we remove the brains and save all the cables then maybe someone else can use it afterwards so let's do that yes come on the monkey let's do the job <laughs> so we managed to remove the brains the only thing is left now is the compass because this needs also a compass so he knows where to steer the compass is located underneath there and yeah and we're gonna wait with that we did a lot and uh, now we can go home right yes Hi. yes see you later see you later alligator I'm not the alligator. Who are you then? My name is Patrick. Okay, so you're not the alligator. Okay, anyway, see you later alligator. <laughs> Let's try to remove. I know that this plastic, nothing sticks to this plastic, so it should be easy to remove. Yeah, it was so easy. And I just need to kind of fit it in let's see if it fits inside well, when I cut the hole it's not like it wasn't like perfect shape so I have to find the right shape well with some small adjustments I think I will be able to do the gel cut on the other side and then I can uh, place it up place it up My friend sailboat now is prepared for the winter. She is installing exactly the same wind instruments that I have, that I'm going to install next year. So she is doing that right now. It's a good time to check it out what she is doing there because I'm going to do the same. And back to my hatch project. I hate it. I don't know why. I have to do that. I have to bring it all the way. Here I'm painting. Finally. But do you think it's paint? No, you guessed wrong if you think it's paint. No, it's a top coat. Well, the top coat protects the water to get inside. So it's kind of like a layer protecting layer. So, which is really easy to sand afterwards and make it like really smooth and nice and then you can paint on top of it. The real paint. The real deal, I mean. Then I close up my water hatch. Piece of shit was falling in and I'm trying to get it out and in and out and in. Eventually I get it and uh, I did the work.
So here you can see. Uh, I still have one more to place, but yeah, it's gonna be too much layers otherwise. It's gonna burn. So I'm gonna wait with that and come back tomorrow, whatever. Oh, I'm so tired. We are humans, we have different moods, right? So f this. I'm gonna go home now. Don't get me wrong, I like the boat work. But just sometimes it's too much. This is it for this episode. It was a bloody long video. But if you watched so far, congratulations. Um, if you watched so far, then go below and subscribe. Because uh, you're with the weirdo list. And you know, we all are in the same model. Or we are in the same cage. For oh, what the f*** I'm talking about. Whatever, we are in the same page. So go below and subscribe. And um, yeah, and some leave them thumbs up because damn it helps the videos and growing up. Or yeah, whatever. See ya next video. See you in the next video next week. With some more weird. Bye bye.